Hey everyone, I wanted to do a short video to show some of the differences between our original product, the Matt Halpern Signature Library, and our latest release, Modern and Massive. It's really easy to get stuck into the feeling that latest equals better, and even us at GGD sometimes can be guilty of focusing more on our latest work. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this video, because I wanted to show that there's actually some really awesome sounds and functions in the original library that don't overlap with Modern and Massive. Firstly, let's talk about the sound. So when we first set out to record the Halpern library, our goal was to capture a really clean and precise kit sound, something that would work really well for the heavy progressive music, but that would also be versatile enough to work in lots of different kind of modern styles that require a very hi-fi drum sound. So, you know, I'm thinking pop and funk, anything like that really. And the drums that we chose reflected this. We went for really short and punchy sounding kicks and snares, these very clean melodic sounding toms with long notes to them and really airy cymbals. The pack has two different bass drums. You've got the option of clear and coated heads on the toms. There are five different snare options going from extremely low to this cranked 13 inch and there's a wide array of cymbals too. When we designed Modern and Massive, however, the idea was to focus on larger drums. We specifically wanted those lower pitches and a kind of more stripped back kit setup that's kind of an extension of your classic one rack tom, one or two floor tom, big kick drum, rock setup. And we deliberately wanted things to sound a little bit less controlled, more raucous, uh, more sympathetic resonances between the drums. Um, the kinds of things that can kind of make sure the drums sound really congealed together, but also that you can pull things back and actually get kind of a classic sound out of it. So I guess let's dive in and listen to the raw sounds from each of the libraries in a groove context, starting with the Halpern Signature Kit. You'll notice that in a raw format, the modern and massive drums have quite a lot more presence and impact than the Halpern drums, which sound perhaps a little bit washier and not as direct. There's a really good reason for this, and essentially it comes down to the room that we recorded in. So for the Halpern library, we recorded in this pretty large studio live room called the Magpie Cage in Baltimore, and it's a terrific, huge kit sound. Because the size of the room is big, there's not much in the way of reflected sound coming back to the kit, slapping off the walls, and the result is you get this kind of very clean, smooth, and diffuse ambient reverb, and it's got a long decay time just because of how big the room is too. By contrast, Modern and Massive was recorded in a smaller and kind of tighter sounding live room. It's still a decent size. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's called Middle Farm here in the UK. Uh, I've recorded a lot of records there and it's, it's a wicked sound, but it's a lot shorter in its decay. But there's a lot more snap coming back off the walls, which makes it sound more direct and punchy. You can achieve the impression of having a longer sounding decay by compressing the mics heavily, the, the room mics specifically, which is an awesome sound, but it still is a kind of different thing than you get from the naturally big sounding room that we recorded the Matt Halpern library in. So with the modern and massive session, because of the way the room gives back such a snappy response, it plays a much more active role in the direct sound of the kit. You know, everything just sounds more upfront and punchy where the Halpen kit perhaps just requires a bit of uncovering, a bit of mixing in order that you can reveal the punch of the close mics and then get the more kind of airy sounding reverb that that room offers. So now that I've said that, let's check out the same clip with a bit of EQ and compression. Nothing too extreme, but just kind of bringing us closer to a final drum mix sound. And hopefully you'll notice that the gap kind of closes between them quite a lot um, once you kind of uncover the gems in the close mic sounds from the Halpern kit. Let's take a listen. It's funny, having mentioned that we were going for kind of more lower pitch sounds with Modern and Massive, it almost, you know, you can hear it so clearly when you go from Halpern to Modern and Massive. It's like everything, the cymbals, the shells, the snare drum, 
everything kind of feels like it just gets pitched down a little bit. And you go back to the Halpin library and everything kind of steps up. It's pretty interesting. To confuse matters further, we released an update for the Matt Halpin library where we included some samples that we had recorded during the album recording session for Periphery 3, which we did at Middle Farm Studios, where we later recorded Modern and Massive. So within the same Halpin uh, signature drum pack, you can access these samples, which were recorded in a different place and time. Um, so if you, if you like the kind of shorter and snappier room response of Modern and Massive, but want a larger kit setup, you've actually got that there inside the Halpin signature library. Moving away from the sounds, the Halpern library actually has a load of extra articulations which are not present in Modern and Massive. So you've got, for example, kick, stick, click hit, where he's literally hitting the rim of the kick drum with his stick. Uh, same thing, the rims on the toms. In terms of the cymbals, you've actually got the tip and edge versions of the hi-hat hit. So that's you know, hitting with the edge of the stick or the tip for every stage of openness. Uh, on the crashes, you have bell hits, like you'd hit a ride cymbal, but on a crash, as well as recorded cymbal swells that can be super useful. On the rise, you have both uh, the bell tip and shoulder of the stick. Um, and all of these little articulations which are present in there could be really inspiring for adding additional percussion textures to your drum programming. Moving over to Modern and Massive, while there's fewer kit pieces, the actual sampler is quite a lot more advanced. I mean, you can just see visually, uh, it looks quite different. One of the big things that we've got going on in Modern and Massive is the inclusion of turbo mode. It blends in my specific processing for each specific drum uh, on each channel. So you can basically blend between the raw sound and kind of how I would mix it. You can go from zero to 100% or anything in between on each channel of the mixer for each drum. So it gives you a whole load of flexibility there. There's also a reverb. Uh, there is also bleed on the snare mics um, where you can choose you know, kick toms and cymbals coming through the snare top and bottom should you want a bit more realism from that. In terms of the overheads, you have both a large diaphragm and small diaphragm option for the overhead microphones. And those are on separate faders that you can have as much or as little of as you want. Uh, there is a kick sub channel separate to the main kick in. And there's also a mono room channel. There's no mono rooms in the Halpern library. Both libraries also include a MIDI groove player where you can load up the MIDI grooves that have been recorded by some amazing drummers. Uh, there's loads more of those on the way and they're super useful for kickstarting some inspiration. So to wrap things up, both of these libraries will give you amazing drum tones. The Halpen library is focused more on this kind of huge diffuse sounding room with more kit pieces. It's a cleaner, more precise sound. Whereas Modern and Massive is more about exciting, explosive rock drum sounds with more stripped back kits. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and keep your eye out for more content from GGD in the future.